hello everyone in this lecture we are going to discuss file open function so it can be called using stream object if it is your input file then we will create object of if stream and if it is output file then we will create object of of stream so through that object we can call open function till now we have passed only file name as argument to open function but additional parameter is file opening mode so let us discuss file open function in detail by default of stream opens file for writing only so if you are not providing any file opening mode by default it will convert to write mode same way if stream opens file for reading only so if you are not providing file opening mode if stream open file for read mode so there are three ways to create or open any file very first method that is constructor i am creating object of of stream send and as an argument i am passing file name so it will call parameterize constructor of class of stream and open abc.txt file second methodology is using open function we are creating one object and through that object i am calling member function open by passing file name as argument and a third method is using open function with file opening mode so we are calling open function using the object we are passing file name as well as file opening mode as an argument so let us discuss various file opening mode for open function so very first opening mode is ios scope resolution operator in that will open file for reading only next mode that is ios out that will open file for writing only next ios append mode it will append the new data to the existing data next mode is ios at that will go to end of file on opening of any file next is binary file truncate that will delete the content of file if exist then no create and no replace no create will be used when open fails if the file does not exist and no replace will used to open fails if the file already exists so these are the file opening modes but more generally we will be using in out and append mode so let us discuss few of the file opening mode using example so in a program i'm going to use classes of fstream that's why i'm including fstream at the beginning of program next i'm creating object my file that is of class of stream now using that object i am opening file in writing mode so this statement create a file example dot txt that will be created for writing next i am inserting a message using my file insertion operator this is india so this statement will move this india message from program to example dot text same way in another example i am creating one character array line of size 50 one object r file of class if stream next r file dot open i am opening that file in reading mode so here i am having example dot txt with existing data this is india and we want to read this as input and take it to the program so r file dot get line will get data from particular file to the variable line over here now instead of this we can write r file accession operator and variable name this statement is also valid so i'm displaying that inputted line using cout and closing particular file so this is the way we can pass file opening mode as second argument to open function now here is the practice program write a program that open two text file for reading data it creates a third file that contains the text of first file and then second file so first of all we are going to create two text files and then we will create third file for writing and condition is text of second file to be appended after text of first file so for that we have created two files first.txt it is having file one second file second.txt having content file two now we want to create third file that will contain file one as well as file two because text of second file to be appended after text of first file so let us write program for that so here i am creating object of fstream class that is file 1 file 2 and file 3 so let us open file 1 and file 2 in reading mode and file 3 in writing mode so here is the file one dot open with first dot txt as first argument it is open in input mode same way file 2 is open in input mode and file 3 is open in append mode now next i want to write content of file 1 into file 3 character by character so for that i am creating character 1 as variable and we are having a loop that will run until end of file of file 1 pointer reach 
so file one dot get it will get character in ch1 and that character we are going to put using file three dot put to the third file so now after completing this loop content of file one will be copied to file three so let us close file one same way let us copy content of file two to file three so i'm writing loop again changing the end of file for file 2 getting character from file 2 and let us use variable ch2 for that after completing this loop i am going to close file 2 as well as i am going to close file 3 let us execute this code here no output in our monitor we have to see our output in our output file so here is the third file 3 is created and it is containing file 1 and file 2. Now suppose you want to open any file in two file opening mode then you are supposed to write pipeline symbol and another mode. So here file 1 will be open in input mode as well as output mode. You can specify further modes also. So you can provide more than one file opening mode in open function by separating each mode using pipeline symbol so this is also valid next let us discuss file pointers each file has two associated pointers known as file pointers one of them is input pointer and it is also called gate pointer and second is output pointer it is also known as put pointer so input pointer is used for reading the content of a given file location an output pointer is used to writing a given file location we are having several file manipulator functions through that we can write input any position of file and we can get content from any position of file so first function is seek g that will move get pointer to specified location next is seek p that is put pointer moves put pointer to specified location so we can write particular output at particular location same way we can get input from particular location next function is tell g it gives current location or position of get pointer same way tell p will gives current position of put pointer so here i am having two objects one is receive that is of if stream class another is send is of os stream class so if i write receive dot seek g it will move get pointer to 30th position or 30th byte same way send.sigp it will move put pointer to byte number 30 in particular file same way tell g will give us a particular position of get pointer and tell p will give us a position of put pointer another syntax for sigg and sigp is you are supposed to provide offset and direction so there are several offset very first is ios begin this offset counted from the beginning of the stream or beginning of the file same way ios current this offset counted from the current position of the stream pointer next is ios end and it will be counted from the end of stream next let us discuss write and read functions that will be used to write or read content of object of a class so functions write and read different from the functions put and get handle the data in binary form Suppose if I write in file dot read having two argument first is object that is typecasted to character pointer and size of particular object same way out file dot write having two argument first is object that is typecasted to character pointer and size of that particular object these functions take two arguments first is the address of variable v or object v and second is the length of that variable in bytes the address of variable must be cast to type character that is pointer to character so let us see example for write and read function here i am having class inventory two data members that is name and cost and one member function read data that will read name and cost from user and display data that will display name and cost of this variable inside main i am creating object of class inventory that is ob1 and next i am creating one object of fstream class and opening a file stop.txt in input mode as well as append mode so if i call ob1.read data it will get name and cost from user and i'm going to write ob1 in particular file so i'm calling file.write and providing address of object 1 that is typecasted to character pointer and size of object 1 
next using 6g moving to the zeroth position and reading the same object to the file and through ob1 i am calling ob1.display data so we will be having data stored in stock.txt and lastly i am closing the file so this is the way to use write and read function for any variable or object thank you